What's up, you guys? Let's read some energy. And so the highest way light was the message. <laughs> I've got, I'm picky. I picked you. Okay. <laughs> what else, spirit? What is the message, please? Girl interrupted. Between the lines, listen to your intuition, trust yourself. There's something karmic happening? Mm, don't you know I'm a boss? Okay, let's see. I want to know what what karma or what karmic thing is happening. So What is this karma? Please answer to the high sweat light. Okay, we got girl interrupted. Well, whatever the karma is, it is good karma, okay? It's because we, we have the Wheel of Fortune here. We have the Wheel of Fortune with the Ten of Wands in the reverse position. So, and the Wheel of Fortune is in the upright position. Um, so I feel like whoever you are, you've got some good karma coming in. Maybe maybe somebody was interrupted by <laughs> this. I'm picky. I picked you. It's just so funny. Um, but it then then I also had the Queen of Swords land in the in the reverse position on this. I'm picky. I picked you. So we'll see what's happening. But um. I feel like maybe somebody was interrupted by a soulmate or some sort of a past life soul connection that, that something needed to be activated within one or both of these people, okay? So I feel like whoever you are, you're, you're uh, an activator. You activate people's DNA, all right? You just you resonate really, really high, okay, like that so that you can help people, um, you know, raise their kundalini, right? So that's a kundalini activator essentially, right? Um, you just, your mere presence just helps to like heal people. So I feel like whoever you are, it could be male or female. All right. Um, but whoever you were, you were interrupted by somebody or something, um, another person. And, um, you're, you're going to be receiving some good karma from the universe and also from their ancestors for helping with that. So is my understanding of how that works. Um, it's like. Trust yourself and trust that what you are doing is is right or that it was right. I feel like whoever you are, you're also very humble, and that's why you were chosen, okay? Because you're not the type of person who you don't go out there and you're not like, I'm a know-it-all, you know what I mean? And you don't just, like, dish out, like, I feel like you read between the lines, okay? You understand how to handle yourself, right? Uh, okay, yeah, with the Magician card here. Yeah, you definitely know how to handle yourself here. Okay, we've also got the Moon card here. Um, let's see what's going on. I just feel like whoever you are, you are highly intuitive. Um, and you will always know if you're doing the right thing, too, by, by the way that the world is responding to you, okay? Um, but also make sure I'm hearing, because I'm also making, uh, or I feel like somebody also needs to know... Um, Oh, damn. Okay, I feel like there was some sort of a cycle that has ended. Um, it's like I have the Ten of Wands here. I've pulled this card quite a bit, okay? And it's like, um, it's it's the one with the little, two little kids, okay? I feel like maybe somebody was trying to come into your life who had children and with the Seven of Swords here was trying to... Um, I'm hearing have you mirror their karma? Have you it's like but this the cycle ended, okay? It's like maybe even somebody's kids kind of tried to call you in to be with a certain person because the, because uh the two of you were at a at a similar frequency or the two of you lived 
relatively close by and you just ran into somebody and um, this person is um, on a, like their ancestors are on a soul level knew that you could do to could help raise their frequency somebody's frequency so the children called to you to intervene to help raise this father's frequency I'm hearing father could be a mother uh, but I think it's a father, the fool card, new beginnings, innocence, um, uh, the wanderer, um, whoever you are, I feel like you just follow and go wherever spirit tells you to go. Okay. Um, you might even be like coming into this knowing or realizing this. They may have, um, whoever this like karmic is. It's like, it doesn't even feel right saying karmic. I just feel like you have some abundance coming in, though, here with the Ace of Pentacles. Um, what else, Spirit? Who is trying to get away with something, though? Let's see. Seven of Swords. I want to know who's trying to get away with something. Knight of Swords. Okay. Hmm. Okay, somebody got defensive in a situation and or somebody is getting ready to take action. Let's see what else. The, ma the magician card here. What else for our ancestors? Light, light. King of Pentacles. Okay, whoever you are, you bring a lot of, uh, you're very, you have a lot of creative energy and you inspire a lot of people. You inspire a lot of desire within people too. Oh, this is interesting. So I feel like it's like somebody's ancestors called you into this, to somebody's life, okay, who may or may not have children, to inspire, to inspire them to help raise their frequency, okay? And you are being rewarded for this. Um, and I have the King of Pentacles here, which is, uh, which is the father. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a, I mean, generally speaking, it's somebody who's a father. So I really am going to follow that storyline. Let me know if this, okay. Yeah. To inspire, uh, new feelings and emotions. And also whoever you are, you make people more intuitive as well. Okay. And it's like. It's like they needed that in their life. Um, a lot of times, though, when this happens, when we come into contact with people who we are, you know, meant to, I was just going to hear, meant to be with. So I don't know. This is a very confusing energy to me. I'm having, I'm not going to lie, I'm having a hard time reading this. Um, but it's like... Um, sometimes as an empath, it can be difficult for us to, um, kind of almost get lost in their feelings. So I feel like there may have even been a separation. Did I already say that there was a separation? Um, and it's like, so you had to re-inspire yourself and your desire and, um, and, and you had to give yourself then new feelings. Okay. So I wonder... Spirit. Three of Pentacles. Oh, somebody put up a wall. Somebody has too many walls. Somebody has too many walls. Because you see this Three of Pentacles, she's she's got that armor. She's building armor, right? Okay, Eight of Wands. Somebody's trying to come in. Somebody's trying to come in with some new feelings for you. What the hell? <laughs> I hope this is making sense to any of you, okay? Um, I mean, I guess just listen to your intuition. So somebody picked you, and they're picky. I don't know if this is... 
Maybe this is the children. <laughs> so level are like, <laughs> we picked you for our father. Just, you know, take what resonates, okay? We were searching on the astral plane. The Ten of Pentacles here and the Two of Cups. Okay, just take what resonates, you guys. But I feel like it's like somebody's somebody's been really depressed and it's like somebody's okay I don't know what the hell this Knight of Cups thing is doing I feel like if there was some sort of a separation I feel like somebody has been taking a lot of time um, being accountable and reflecting on their actions okay but we've also got the Ten of Pentacles here with the Two of Cups so it's it's a, it's a card of family and a card of, um, of true love of partnership okay and look at that with the caduces there. Definitely somebody's a kundalini activator. Okay, so maybe somebody's just used to activating people and then just walking away. Let's let's pull some more cards and see what else is going on here. Yes, somebody has light light. What is the message? Mm-hmm. Mm. Eight of Wands. Okay. Okay, so there was some sort of astral travel interference that was uh, making it f difficult for you to um, hear your intuition, really, basically. Um, and there's some sort of reverse karma that's going to be sent back to from wherever that was coming from, all right? So we have somebody who's a dreamer. Oh, oh, we have somebody who, oh, we have somebody who is a dreamer. <sighs> Secretly, and then we've got somebody, you, who's just very charismatic and very confident and very joyful. And it's like, this person was trying to align with your energy. And of course it worked because that that's what, there was a soul contract, right? The two of you came together and you said, hey, yeah, I'll help you with this, right? Um, and now it's like, Oh, wow. And then they developed a lot of passion for you. And then they're hooked, is what I'm hearing, okay? But there was some sort of a separation. Uh, three, uh, three of swords and some sort of heartbreak. But there will be great fortune and peace in the future with the Ten of Cups here. Somebody's very uh, determined to have you, uh, but somebody is also a little defensive. Somebody feels like they did not grow up with a home, and they feel like you are home to them. Ace of Wands, you're very inspiring and intuitive. Somebody's coming into this knowing. I hope that you guys are following this reading. I hope that it makes sense to anybody, all of you. Um, obviously, like... You know, all of my readings are general readings. Little bits and pieces may resonate with you. Little bits and pieces may resonate with somebody else. The entire reading may resonate with you. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's pull some other cards. So, so whoever this is, this is somebody who just kind of came out of the blue. Like, this surprised, this surprised you. Like, you were not expecting this, okay? So, if this reading is for you, I feel like you will know that this reading is for you. This is very specific, okay? So, um, what else? Spirit and Sister Light Light Light. The lovers at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so just have faith in your ideas and in your direction. Star card here. Um, stay inspired and positive about the future and remain hopeful as well. I wonder if this is, um... It's like somebody is used to, um, like I'm hearing kicked out, like somebody's used to somebody just like getting kicked out after doing these, uh, like activations for people. Okay. Cause it's not an easy job. It's not an easy thing to do to, to activate somebody's Kundalini. And then all of a sudden they're having all these weird experiences and they're having all these ego deaths and it's like you know you don't really want to be around all of that because the ego gets defensive and is not always nice right so 
Um, it doesn't make people like you. It's like it makes people's ancestors love you because it's helping for their soul's ascension, right? But it does not make the human, if the human is not self-accountable, it does not make the human like you, right? So just stay inspired, follow your passion, all right? I feel like you have some breakthrough success that's coming through. Some sort of uh, truth has been delivered to you. Some, and, and I feel like some truth has been delivered to this other person as well about themselves, probably after you've met them. And... Um, and with the Fool card here, just know that you are guided and you are protected on your life journey. Mm -hmm. And make sure that you are caring for yourself first, okay? You're filling your cup first. I feel like whoever this person was, they were not used to filling their cup first. So make sure that you are not uh, carrying that energy anymore. It's time for you to separate from that energy, right? To get back into your authentic energy and just give it to the universe and just let whatever is supposed to happen, happen. And peaceful times are coming again very soon. A Knight of Wands, a lot of passion. Uh, this person, the, the counterpart has a lot of passion for you. But uh, whatever the universe brings you, I feel like that's you're going to be okay with that. The Wheel of Fortune is a card of, of great fortune and of, of good luck. So I'm going to leave the reading right there. I hope that uh, this makes sense to any of you, <laughs> all of you, somebody, any of you took something good from it. And I'm sending you guys so much love. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe too. All right, until next time.